Hello everybody and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today's video is a decorating video. We're focusing on this organic modern look that I'm going for. I get asked all the time, like, what is my style? What is this called? Finally, someone nailed it when they were like, it's organic modern. I feel like it has a lot of the Studio McGee vibes. And so we're gonna be decorating with like Amazon items, Studio McGee, like her actual line, her threshold line at Target. Um, and the thing I'm starting off with is Kirkland's, but I think that's the only thing. But I wanted to show you that you can always decorate on a budget to get the desired look that you're going for. It just may take some time like it has in my household. So we're getting started. The very first place I'm working on is my mantle. I felt like it needed a little pop of black. So if you're on a super tight budget and you can just spray paint something the color you need, do it. In this case, I had some like really thick um, candlesticks and I was wanting like skinny. If they were already skinny, I would have spray painted them. But since they weren't, I went ahead and found these. And I did want to show you a hack that if the candle's not fitting in it, just grab like a paper towel and put it at the bottom and that will thicken it up so that it won't fall over in the candlestick itself. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to chase and payment on my own because you're here to stay. I'm really trying to enjoy my mantle because at the next house we're actually gonna have to put the TV above the fireplace and this was like our first home to have like an actual fireplace in the house and so I've loved having it I've loved decorating it I've learned a lot along the way um, I'm very minimal less is more but when it comes to a mantle I feel like you really have to layer up for it to look nice and cozy so if you can't figure out your fireplace mantle like you can't figure out the pieces try layering a few like add more more than you would think and it tends to turn out beautifully so I ended up working on off camera a few days ago and so I went ahead and inserted this picture so you could see how it turned out but now we're going into my dining room which is a huge transformation um, I've been dying to share this one with you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and move all of this out because other than the plant and then like my rolling white chairs right there we are getting all new pieces and it looks amazing so stay tuned for that there's no reason to chasing payment on my own cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you la 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 I know some of you are wondering where this table set's going to go did I sell it did I donate it it ended up in my mother-in-law's house so the fun part is we actually get to enjoy it still when we go over there and eat and um, hang out at her house we'll still have it so it was definitely a win-win for us Chase was gone this particular night that I got the itch to go ahead and take this table down. Um, I got the email notification that the next um, morning the table was being delivered and I wanted all of this gone so we could set up the new table immediately. Um, what's nice is this had a leaf in it. I don't know if you guys ever knew that. I never did it small. I just always left it big. But what's nice about this current table is the leaf was um, inside of it. So you could just open and close it and you never had to worry about storing the leaves where like our new table they come like they're separate pieces so I have to store them if we're not using them but I will say at the next house I'll always leave them in but I'm dying to show that to you so I promise it's getting close but I'm just gonna lock this up so when they come to pick it up it's like nice and locked it's as small as it can get um, you'll even see here in a second when Chase got home that night he took the legs off just so it would be easy to put in the car and then get into the next house Say it out loud. Okay, here she is. I actually got her off the Studio McGee website. So this is definitely a splurge for us, but I will say um, it went on a really good sale during Black Friday, so we grabbed it. I ordered it that night and it just came in. So it took a long time to get it in, but she was worth the wait. I've been wanting a table like this for so long and I loved that right now I could still fit it in my house because it has two leaves. And so if I needed it smaller, it could fit. Um, I end up just putting one leaf in it um, just for everyday use. 
but at the next house we'll be able to keep both of the leaves in just because the dining room's going to be bigger but i'll show you it all three ways here just in case you're in the market but like i said it's not on sale anymore i'm sure they'll do it again i don't know when it'll be next but i'll keep an eye on it for you but this is a slurge piece but it's studio mcgee i'm in love with it um but i'm gonna show you how to mix like high end and low end because i'm about to show you the chairs and the deal that i got on those and give me a chance to say it out since we had spent so much on the table i was really trying to find some budget chairs and that's kind of what i do i have a budget and then i figure out how i can spend it so I found these black chairs on Amazon. I'm gonna link them for you, but you get four of them. Yes, four of them for 160, but there's actually a $20 coupon when I'm currently filming this. So hopefully when this goes up, it'll still be there. But right here on Wayfair, you could get a set of two for $233. So I still got a better deal than that, but for that same look right here, one chair is $199. So to get four chairs for like $140 is a steal. You can't find that anywhere. So if you're looking for a good black modern chair, um, you do have to assemble them. So just keep that in mind if that's not your thing. I have Chase, so he can put anything together, but it really helped us on our budget. And like I said, you get four of them for like 140 bucks. I ended up grabbing two sets of those so I could have like three on each side and then I could put them on the ends as well but I'm not sure I will yet but what's nice is like when we're hosting for like Thanksgiving or Christmas we can cram more in and I'll have two backup chairs that I can just keep out in the garage or somewhere and throw them there. What's funny is I'm getting rid of a lot of like high-end pieces for actually more affordable pieces. Now, obviously my table was more, but these chairs were so much cheaper than the original ones I had here, but I love them. They're gonna be easy to clean, so I'm super excited for that. Same with my bar stools. So my original bar stools that I'm taking out were actually Pottery Barn, and I spent $300 each on those. It was a major splurge when we moved into this house but I was wanting some black ones for our new house because we're gonna have a white oak island. And I found these Studio McGee thresholds so from Target and they were about 70 a piece, so I'll link those for you, but way more affordable than my original ones. What's nice about the whole Studio McGee thing is she has like a Target line that's more affordable, but then she also has like her nicer brand and her website. So definitely check it out. I love her style and I love that I can mix her like high end and low end pieces. These bar stools actually fit so much better. Like they push in more underneath my island. And so my walkway now is so much bigger. It looks so much cleaner and crisp. I love this view now. I'm just loving this style in my home and I know I'm gonna love it even more in the next home because we're kind of planning it around there. But I just wanted to show you that you can take like lower end, more affordable pieces and make your home seem high end. And I love that um, Shay from Studio McGee is making that possible since she has that line out at Target so much more affordable but you get her high-end look for less but now we're gonna work on our next table because I have been wanting a black entryway table for the new house and everywhere I looked it was like thousands of dollars you can see the one right here from Pottery Barn was the one I wanted and it was 1900 plus you had to pay for shipping and fees and all this extra stuff it was gonna be ridiculous well, one day I was sitting in Chase's office and I remembered that I had that stainless steel table in there. And I was like, Chase, those are the exact lines I'm wanting for my entryway table. All I have to do is paint it. So we're gonna paint it today and I can't wait to reveal to you how it turns out. So this is costing me $0. I already have all the paint, all the supplies. So I could have went and spent like $2,500 on an entryway table or I just had to use a little bit of Elgro grease and paint this thing. It didn't even take that long. It was done in a day. And you're gonna be shocked how it turns out here at the end. Every day I'm with you. 
since this table is actually stainless steel, I'm going to be priming it first. Now say you're wanting to do a piece like this, but it's not an entryway table, say it's a refrigerator or something like that, there is a better primer for this that'll make it more scratch resistant. It'll take a little bit more time because the drying time's longer. But since this is my entryway table and we like never touch it, it's more for looks, I'm just gonna use what I have and it turned out really well. I didn't know at first if it would hold it, but it did. So I'm just gonna put this primer on. I did one coat of the primer, just in case you're wondering, and then two coats of paint. I showed the entire process, but it is a little sped up. I do have other videos on here on how I paint furniture, so you can always check that out if you're interested. If you're painting a piece of furniture for the first time, definitely look at what you're gonna be painting. This is the easiest piece I've ever worked on because it's all straight lines, there's no details, there's no curves. So if you have a very ornate piece, that's probably not the very first thing you should DIY and like paint yourself. Definitely start off with like a nightstand or something that's easier. Like I said, this is the easiest thing I've ever done because there's like no nooks and crannies or anything like that. So it really did not take long at all. Times. These nights taste like gold Sweet with obsession Show me something new As each morning comes We wear out the night Like we wear our clothes Dancing right through the fire While we watch it glow Singing on random As we give up our goals As a new morning comes Through the wind while that finishes drying, I got a little itch to switch because I was excited about the table and I knew I wanted to use it as our entryway table. So it started something because Chase needed a table for his printer. Um, so I'm just basically flip flopping these tables. This used to be my entryway table. Now it's gonna be for his printer and then what his printer was on is gonna be the entryway table. So it worked out nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this moved over. If I had it in me, this table would look really good black, but I don't think I'm taking it to the next house, so I don't want to spend that much time painting it, because that one would be a little bit harder, because it's got a lot of different areas to it, and it would take some more time. actually think that table works better there anyway so it was a win-win. I wanted to touch on these desks real fast and just shopping your budget because the ones I wanted originally were $2,000 plus tax and shipping and all of that. It was just crazy and I was needing two of them. So I did some Google um, searches and I found some amazing ones from Home Depot and they were only like $6.73. I was able to grab two of them cheaper than the one Pottery Barn um, and they are so nice, so heavy duty, so many features. But even if you're looking for like a better budget one, this one was $2.70. So just do your research and you can find whatever you're looking for the style within your budget. You just have to do some digging. Now the primer is dry, so we're gonna start painting it. I was so excited to get to this point. I will say the paint that I used is a matte black. It's limousine leather and it's from Home Depot. Um, we've been using this black a lot throughout our house. We're super happy with it. Um, and what I love is that it dries that matte finish. So right now it's gonna look super shiny and I just feel like black shiny furniture isn't great unless you're going for like a spooky haunted house look or I don't know, it's just not my taste. But once it dries and it's matte, it looks gorgeous. I'll show you what it looks like at the end, but I'm so excited I did this. Sometimes it's a little scary to start painting furniture because I was even scared about messing this up. Cause I'm like, I could sell this and make good money, but if I paint it and mess it up, then I can't. But it was definitely worth the risk because I was gonna be spending over $2,000 to get this table that I had sitting in my house. All I had to do was paint it. Come with us, don't. So that is it after the first coat. Like I mentioned, 
I'm doing two coats of the black. I feel like it's always good to do two coats. Even if you buy a paint that says one coat finish, that's what this one is. I still think you need two because you miss spots. It just makes it more even. Always do two coats. I feel like it always helps out and just the finish looks better. And here she is, she's still drying a little bit so you can see the rolling marks, but you'll see it at the end. It is gorgeous. Like I said, it saved me a couple thousand dollars. So excited, it did not take long at all. While that's drying in my living room and I already had the paint brush and roller and paint out, I was gonna touch up my fireplace, but I wanted to show you, just use what you have and turn those pieces into the look that you're needing. I've had this fireplace in all of my homes. When I first got it, it was white. It actually looked different than it does even in that picture. It had like stone that was gray. I had painted it white. It used to have like an electric fire insert in it that I took out. So as my styles changed, I've just updated it with me and it saved us so much money over time. I always get asked where it's from. And what's so funny is I've had it from years. It was from Big Lots and I've just basically taken everything off of it that made it special and painted it black and I absolutely love it. Then you just throw in some like real firewood and it just looks like a nice moody fireplace. So I love that piece. So if you're on a tight budget and you're needing a certain look, just find pieces in your home or at garage sales or at Goodwills and just paint them. Look for all of these things to hold on to, but oh, I'm finding better days with you. Hold on to me tight as we dive into the Right here, you're catching a glimpse of how beautiful it's gonna be. Um, I also wanted to mention these ornaments right here. I found them at Target. Once again, they are Studio McGee again. I can tell I'm just like living for her style. Um, but I wanted to mention they weren't in my Target, but when I got on the app, they had them there. So I got to just do like pickup. So keep in mind, if you're walking through your Target and they don't have the Studio McGee section like mine, they may have the items in the back. So you can just like order from your phone and like, pick it up inside or you can pick it up with your car whatever's best or they can ship it to you there's been quite a few things my location didn't have but they shipped to me so definitely check that out on target because i've been super impressed but right here you're kind of seeing it's off set so for my front door to open i had to push the table way down but then like my mirror and lights were off so i was trying to make it work I was trying to like decorate it to see if I could make the unevenness work, but I couldn't. <laughs> and so Chase was like, let's just fix the mirror and lights. So we're gonna go and take the lights off the wall, take the mirror and we reposition everything. So these lights actually aren't hooked up to electric. If you've been here, you saw us DIY these. If it was actually electric lights, we would be stuck with them. So it's actually nice that we didn't have those installed. Um, so we're just gonna take them off and slide everything down. The only one who brings me back to life I've been trying to perform all these things to hold on I also decided that I wanted a little more texture on my vase since it's going to be like a solid black table and then I have like my ivory um, ottomans. I just felt like I needed a little more texture over there so I'm just going from like a plain ivory vase to like one that has a pattern on it. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but it really will um, just help add a little um, interest to that area. Um, as you can see here, Chase is just moving the mirror over. I have to say it should have been here from the very beginning. I don't know what I was thinking when we hung the mirror and lights. I just think there's so much change sometimes going on. And when you're adding like um, accents to the wall, you're just not sure what you're doing, but it definitely looks so much better how we have it set up now. Like I mentioned, these are faux lights. So originally they could have been wired in or plugged in, but we just cut them and hung them like you would if there was an outlet there. And then you can get light bulbs off Amazon that are rechargeable. So you can actually still turn these on if you want to. I rarely do that just cause we're not over here by the entryway. But what's nice is it looks like just a custom add on that we have here in the entryway yet we didn't have to have an electrician come out and install them um, so right here you can see how it turns out i am 
so happy with this space. It almost makes me so sad to leave. I'm hoping I can get this same look in the next home because it just turned out so nicely. After decorating like the living room and the entryway, I had black candlesticks left over, which was perfect because I was wanting to add some black in our bathroom just to kind of tie it all together. I already had candlesticks in there and I had intended to spray paint those black, but it's been really cold here in Oklahoma. So when I realized I had black ones left over, I didn't even have to paint them, so that was nice. And what's nice is the detail on these candlesticks actually have like beading on them that match the mirror to the right. So they have like the same texture, but they're different colors. It brought black into the space. It was perfect. So it's crazy that sometimes just switching out candlesticks can change the feel of a space. So buy new ones, paint the ones you have, do what you gotta do, but sometimes it just takes a little tweak to make a whole room or space feel fresh again. Finding my way back somehow All I know is that things change We find a way to make it through Cause all we know is that things change But it's not so bad with you White knuckles on the way down But my friends are Now I'm just finishing up by putting all the decor back on this fireplace since I had painted it. I made sure it was dry before I did that. But I have one more piece to show you and it's in my living room. Um, we grabbed a new coffee table because I was really wanting a black one since we're gonna have white oak floors in the next house. But once again, it was Pottery Barn. It was like $1,300. Um, a lot of other places were like $800, $500. I got on Target, Studio McGee, once again, that threshold and it was $200. $50. Um, if you're needing a big one, I saw a few people bought two and pushed them up to each other. Um, so it made like one big one, but I am in love. Here's everything we worked on today. So you can see these spaces. We definitely made the house moody again by adding in those black elements. And I think it's going to be gorgeous in our new home because it's already gorgeous in this home. So let me know what you think down below. Let me know which pieces you love that you want in your home. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.